Okay, next program is program number 10. Write embedded C program to display hello world message. Uh, you can simulate uh, R, you can interface with LCD and you can display an LCD also. So, today I am going to teach you how you can use serial window of uh, Heal software and you can display hello message in serial window of Heal software. So, open Heal software and, and uh, go to project, add new item to the project. Okay, then select C file, then you can type serial.c like that you can type. So, I already have the file. So, once you create a new file, blank file will be there. You have to type this program. So, include register 51.h, include stdio.h because I am using printf here. So, standard uh, put output header file should be required stdio.h, void main, void, and um, for serial communication. Uh, we should learn the theory of 8051 SCAN register and T mode register. SCAN register is set with uh, 50, which actually indicates that the mode 1 we are using and it is 8 bit universal asynchronous receiver transmitter and which enables receivers. And T mode register of 8051 is set to 20 all are 8 bit registers so x decimal 20 actually this 20 indicates that timer 1 is actually running in mode 2 mode 2 is actually 8 bit reload and after that th1 is loaded with fd value uh, which actually uh, used for to set the baud rate of 9600 bits per second next to tr1 is equal to 1 to make timer 1 to run and ti so ti you have to make 1 set ti to send first character of what while 1 printf hello world so you can read the complete detail of 8051 t mode register this is a 8 bit register of t mode okay ls lsb is m0 m1 which indicates mode for timer 0 and c slash C E bar. If this bit is zero, uh, this timer acts as timer. Otherwise, if it is one, it acts as counter, and it is uh, gate. Uh, this is again for uh, actually time eight zero five one has two timers: timer zero and timer one. If you want to use timer zero, then uh, you have to give values here, and this you have to make zeros. Here, if you want to set timer one. Make these four bit zeros, and here you can set mode selection. And again, if you want to use it as a timer, this bit should be zero. Okay, so this is gate control when set C slash uh, C T bar. Okay, C slash T means C T bar timer or counter you can select. Clear means timer, it is T bar. If one means set means it acts as a counter. This is mode selection bit for uh, M0 and M1R, mode selection bit. These are the different modes. If M0 and M1 are 0, 0, it is 13 bit timer mode. It is called as mode 0. If M0 and M1 is 0, 1, it is a mode 1 operation, which is 16 bit timer mode. If it is 1, 0, then 8 bit auto reload. So in, the, in our program, we are setting this one as. 1 0 that is mode 2 and again we are selecting which one either timer 1 we are using or timer 0 uh, you can see that program here it is t mode is set as 2 0 2 0 means 0 0 1 0 so timer 1 is used timer 0 all bits are 0 0 0 only. 208 bit hexadecimal you have to write 0 0 1 0 so this is also 0 so timer function instead of counter we are using 0 means it is timer Z, uh, 1 0 means mode 1 0 means 2 mode 2 mode 2 is 8 bit auto reload
after that we also should know what is a why th1 is actually loaded with fd yeah this is a timer is actually is having tl not and th not timer 0 again timer 1 is also having tl1 and th1 okay so you have to read this complete details and to set the value of baud rate you have to go for a serial communication topic there you can see how to set the baud rate this is a serial communication topic baud rate in 8051 okay these are the baud rates you can set and to set the baud rate of 9600 th1 should be loaded with minus 3 uh, or hexadecimal fd so we are using 9600 so you have to load fd in th1 after that to start the timer tr1 should be 1 okay and scan register you can see scan is also 8 bit register so these are the sm not sm1 sm2 or again mode selection so sm2 is uh, for multiprocessor communication we are using only one single processor so make it zero if it's a multiprocessor you have to set as one then again mode zero sm0 and sm1 uh, we can have this is zero zero means shift register with baud rate of f by two zero one means eight bit uart and baud rate yeah, you can have variable Rate. So here we are setting S can register with 50, 50. So which is 8 bit UART. We are enabling receiver and mode 1 we are selecting. So after that, if you compile this program, to read full details of S can register, T mode register, how to start the timer, everything you'll understand. So now start debug. So here we don't want any ports, close it. We want to send hello world message. Either you can use LCD or you can use simulation window. So here you can see serial window. So you are at one, you are at two, you are at three. Print of uh, uh, debug print of viewer is also there. So you have to select you are at one. So you can see down you got one will open so now we'll execute step by step s can is set with uh, 50 t mode is set with 20 and t1 is loaded with uh, fd start the timer and uh, this is a uh, timer interrupt enable you can it will wait until first carriage is available uh, sign it by the uh, it's 051 serial communication port. So while one continuously it will send hello hold, it, the message will come in serial window. That is you are one window. It came. So again, since it is written, this printf is written in while one, infinitely one means true. While true, always it will execute this uh, continuously hello world will be printed. Now we can click run button, continuously it will print hello world. To stop the program, click stop button. So you can see here, hello world message is continuously coming. If you want to get hello world uh, one, one by one uh, below line, so you can add here next button, next line slash n. Next in each line, I think we'll get only one one. Hello old. So again, you stop debug. Compile. 
previously we opened the URT one. So serial window is already available. If it is not there, again go to uh, view. Here serial windows are there. You can click this. Otherwise, here also it is available. You have to go here, serial window. Now just run fast. Here, now here slash n is there. So it will have print next line. Hello world here. Next it is getting here. So let's keep on printing hello world and slash n is for new line. Thank you.